holy bejesus you know what i'm saying hey guys so today i have a haul before you say anything yes i know i have a problem with spending money i know i have a problem with shopping what what are you gonna do about it so this is gonna be a haul about stuff that i bought yesterday and today and y'all don't even know the struggle i've had to refilm this three times why because i kept going shopping it's just i need to go to counseling all right so i'm gonna start off with the things that i got from macy the first thing that i got was this pair of pants and they're just green skinny jeans and I only paid nine dollars for them such a bargain when the original price was 34 I wouldn't have bought them if they were 34 dollars you know what I'm saying all right so the second thing I got at Macy's was this black dress I don't have a dress that's this shape so that is how I talked myself into buying yet another black dress right so the next place that i went was wet seal and i got this sweat shirt sweatshirt sweater i don't know but it's just a guns and roses sweatshirt and i will show you what it looks like it looks like this ain't it beautiful my sister called it creepy so the second place i went was the first place i went which was my work Tada. All right, so the first thing I got was these earrings. They're just like little gold leaves. <laughs> Excuse me. The second thing I got was this pair. There's an earring in this hole and then one in my cartilage. Cubic zirconium sterling silver earrings. And then the last thing that I got was this necklace. It's just a pocket watch with a um, Paris Parisian Eiffel Tower. Oh my god, my brain is not working today. So it has the Eiffel Tower in the middle and just it looks like that on the back. And I still need to set the time on this thing because I have not yet done that. Right, and so the last place that I went yesterday was Victoria's Secret. They were having their 7 for 26 sale there. First one that I got looks like this. It's regular black thong. And then I got the same one in this peach color. If I can even, you know, pick it up. Looks like that. The next pair that I got, I actually got the same style but in two different colors. The first one was this color and then the second one was just a tan color. You have no idea. I am obsessed with this style that has the lacing for the sides. I have literally the same style in seven different colors. I go a little crazy. This next pair I've never seen before and they're really cute so I got one. They're purple, they say love pink, and then they have this little frilly thing it's kind of like this one but not really because i don't know they just looked cute and i was like getting those and then the last pair that i got was this pair which uh this is the cheeky style that's not like it's in between a panty and a thong suits comfortable Right, so the next place that I went, I went to today, and that was Target. And the first thing I got from Target was this pair of pants. Just regular black pants. And these are Levi's. Like Levi, then their sub, sub brand, whatever. Deniz, Denizen? Denizen? No idea. The second thing that I got wear three bras one of them i am wearing so i'm not showing to you but it's just a basic red bra nothing special about it the second one that i got looks like this and it's just a beige beige bra you know because everyone needs nude bras but this one oh my god this bra just look at this look at that 
Oh, good Lord, you can see my size. Let me flip that one around for you. It is adorable. I can't wait for my boyfriend to see this on me. What? Who said that one? The next thing I got was this waffle shirt. And it just looks like this. I actually got a waffle shirt last year from Target that looks like my baby blanket because my baby blanket is waffle colored. And it's so funny because me and my boyfriend have the same baby blanket. <laughs> that is so weird. But anyways, so I went back because I wanted more waffle shirts because that, that shirt that I got last year is so comfortable. So I got one in this coral color. The next thing that I got was this sweater. And I got it in a large just because I wanted it to be baggy. It looks like this. It's like a nice plummy color. Alright, the next thing that I got from Target is this sweater. So adorable. Look at the flowers on that. And I love the color. And it's just so cute. The next thing that I got from Target was this pair of gray knee highs. I needed a pair of gray knee highs and I found them. Okay, the next two things that I got from Target were tights. I got a red pair and a gray pair because I don't have either color of those, but now I do. And then the last thing that I got from Target was a Sally Hansen top coat because I needed a new top coat because mine turned into that like disgusting gelatinous type thing where it's like you're painting molasses on your nails. It didn't work too well, so I got another one. Okay, then the next place I went today was Ulta. Love Ulta. The first thing I got was this skin clearing tool, professional majog. And it says it's used to for super superior blemish extraction. And this is what it looks like. You might have heard, because I know these things also go by the name of comedone extractor. I've been wanting one for a while just because to clear my, my blackheads. So hopefully this works. The next thing I got, I've been needing because I have curly, naturally curly hair. And when I get out of the shower, it's not good to use a brush. And then the only other comb I have is like the really close together bristles. And so I got this wide tooth comb, which I know is good for combing curly hair. And it's good for when your hair is wet because then it won't pull at anything. Two things that I got were Rimmel products, and the first one is this, I think it's new. I'm pretty sure these are new products, because I've not seen them yet. So this first one is this Stay Matte Primer, and I've never used a makeup primer before, so hopefully this helps. And it says, um... Use alone or over makeup, and it says skin perfecting primer can be worn alone, under makeup, or on top to create a perfect matte complexion. Controls shine for up to eight hours. Ultra lightweight formula minimizes the appearance of pores. So I have oily skin, and hopefully this helps my skin stay matte, because if so, definitely buying another tube of these, because it was only $7, so hopefully it'll stay that price. And then the other Stay Matte product that I got was this Liquid Mousse Foundation in the color Ivory because I'm white. Y'all can see it, you know. So this does the same thing. Lightweight texture won't feel heavy or greasy, which is good because I've got oily face. The last thing that I got from Ulta was this Eco Tools Custom Coverage Buffing Brush. It's basically a stippling brush, but I have been wanting a stippling brush for so long. I am so tired of using my paddle, whatever those, foundation brush. And this one is, oh my gosh, it is soft, it's stiff. This is going to be perfect for applying foundation with and just, mm, oh, oh yeah. Oh, so soft. Eco Tools is one of my favorite, favorite brush brands of all time. I have so many brushes from them because they're just, oh, they're nice and soft. They're not too expensive. I really wanted the Real Techniques buffing brush, but alas, it was too expensive for my budget. And this one, 
I dropped it. And that brush was only $7. So it's a good deal for a good quality brush. Okay, and then the last place I went to was Old Navy. And the first thing I picked up was this shirt. And this shirt was on clearance for $3. Let's see what the original price was. $12. $12.50 for this thing. I would not pay $13 for this shirt. Honestly, would any of you pay $13 for this shirt? No. I'm happy about $3.13 I paid for that shirt. The second thing that I got, I got two of, and that is camis. And the first one looks like this. And this is just the, like a nice v-neck cami and I like this one because it doesn't have the built-in bra and sometimes I like those for when I'm sleeping and sometimes I don't know it just kind of gets in the way and then the second one was a tan one I have been needing a tan cami for god knows how long so long it's been ridiculous the next thing that I got was this workout shirt that I got for $5.99 and the original price was $20. So, wow. Everything was on clearance at Old Navy. Last clothing item I got at Old Navy. I have been wanting a pair of these for a long time. And it is these compression pants. Pants. Yes, pants. And I've been wanting these for band when we're outside. And it gets so cold. And we have to wear compression shorts under our uniforms. And it's like extra cold because the uniforms aren't that thick. So these are going to work perfectly. The last thing that I got from Old Navy, I am so excited to share with y'all. Because these were so adorable. They were in my size and they were the last pair. Holy bejesus. This pair of shoes are so adorable. I know they look big. I wear a size 8.5 to 9. But these fit, oh my god, they are so adorable. Look at that. I'm just, oh, so cute. So adorable. These are perfect for work because they're flats. They're stylish. I am in love with them. So cute. I hope y'all really enjoy it and I can't wait to do more videos for you guys. I'm going to be doing a December favorites. I know I did not do a November or December one. I don't or no, not December one. I don't think I did an October one and I'm going and I didn't do a November one, so I'm finally doing a December favorites. And that'll be up for y'all soon. I still need to film it and then I need to edit this one. So, oh my gosh, so much work. It's really not that much work. But anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed and I'll see you later. Bye.